Hallelujah. But she still needs our prayers because she's got, they can't find it because she's got an infection from, like I said, the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Something is causing an infection and they can't find it. So she still needs our prayers.
other generations fell back. And Brother Jeremy says, there's three generations in here right now that's filled with the Holy Ghost. And we've got to get the next generation ready because they're going to be the ones up here on the platform. They're going to be the prayer warrior, Sister Nancy. They're going to be the ones that's going to be out there on the streets and the missionaries and stuff. If we don't get it in their heart now, by the time they get our age, where are they going to be? Or the time they get a teenager, or when they get that, to that age where I can do whatever I want to do because I'm older and you can't tell me what to do. They can get that attitude if you don't watch it. I never got that attitude. But there's a lot of teenagers, when they turn that 18, they think they can do whatever they want to do. But we've got to keep, we've got to keep the fire burning.
working a song when I was sitting up next to my bed. Come on. Come on. And I don't want this type of I've been there's not just every time I get over I I don't say nothing. I don't say every time I I'm gonna get up and say, you need to say something, you need to say something. I'm like, what? what? Nicotine is just as bad as bad as alcohol. Come on. Yes. Yes, it is. My daddy was a nicotine addict. From the time I was I can remember. He just could not get give it up. I seen him try and try and try. And he'd go back and he'd get it. But when he'd be out of it. Like not having any at all. You had to watch because he could get pilot. And that's a lot of times I'd have to go underneath my bed and just have to pray. And he couldn't find me. The God would put his angels and he could not find me. And I hear stories of kids going through that. And I was, I've been through that. And I said, the only thing is they don't have Jesus. That's right. Like, if it would not have been for Jesus, I don't know where I'd be. Like I said, I don't say much about that because I love my daddy. Yeah. Yeah. But there was times that it got rough in my household. And I've got to say anything about Ethan and Daniel. But it seemed like I was the target every time when he ran out. I don't know why. But I was his target. And I carried baggage from that. And I didn't understand why. And I pray that they can get off of me because I don't want to hold nothing against anybody even though he's gone. Right. I don't want that bitterness to be in my heart. But it, it springs up sometimes. And then
being raised to be in this life, that, that, that plan of salvation, yeah. the plan of salvation, being baptized and then dying to that sin that they were, that they were in. Repeatedly it shows all the stories throughout the Bible. You think they're just stories, but if you pay attention to those stories, each one of those stories is telling you that plan over and over and over. And over. Beginning with the flood. You think the flood is just a story, but that's just the beginning of the saving of the entire world. Baptize the entire world. And then he chose to sacrifice himself. Die. So that we could be raised in the newness of life. To really think about what God, what God really did. Yes. So that we can be a part of it. You realize what he did? He didn't have to create us. He didn't have to make us. But he chose. He chose us to be a part of him yes. forever. But he didn't want to make us be a part of him. So he made a way that we could choose. We could either choose to be a part of him forever. Or we could try our own way. But our own way ain't going to make it. So many people are trying that broad way. This world is trying to create a life for itself. The way of the world, they think that they've got it in control. They think they've got all the T's crossed and their eyes dotted. But they don't, they don't really know. And I, I forgot to make the statement the other night, but I was thinking I was, Sunday before I was preaching, I just, just impressed really hard. The horsemen are coming. Yeah. The horsemen are coming. You better be ready. Come on, bro. Yeah. I want to be ready. I didn't have a song, but I was thinking that song came in song of Jesus. I love you. I love Jesus tonight. I want to make him proud. I want to make him proud. That, that I don't want to make him repent of his decision of making me. You read throughout the Bible where Jesus, where God says, I repented that he even made man. I don't want God to say that about me. get it all the way out. That's right. You know, my brother said if you go through this in your mind while you're praying and you relive that same circumstance and you get to the point where you're feeling that very thing and then you just physically grab it like you're pulling it out of yourself and giving it to God and asking God to take it away from it. And jerk it out by the root so there's nothing left. You don't want no root of bitterness sprinkled back up. Hallelujah. I've had things in my life that, you know, that tormented me and situations that I, even in recent years, I I wanted to get even. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Thinking about.
about the scenarios where I could have did this or that. Just, yeah. You know, yeah. and, uh, that's just the devil. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't have no hard feelings towards anyone. Hallelujah. I want to see them all saved. That's right. I've prayed for those people and I've asked God, Lord, somehow, someway, I don't know them. I don't know where they're at. I don't know how to get a hold of them. But you can send somebody their way. Hallelujah. You can send somebody their way and preach to them this truth. Oh, I thank God for truth. So stand with us. I'm going to turn this service over to Brother Gus. We can preach to us tonight. Everyone say, Lord bless Brother Gus. Hallelujah. Brother, just obey God. That's the only restriction I got. Make sure you obey God. no doubt that those things that he had done tormented his mind. Yeah. Sister Felicia, Apostle Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind me. I press on. Amen. Amen. We're, we're going we're gonna to pray a covering to your mind tonight. Because the devil would like to torment you with these things. And I'm here to tell you, we're, we're going we're to put them in the past. And we want to leave them in the past. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Things can't be redone. They, they, you, we can't go back and, and, and let things be redone. But we can leave them in the past. I'm going to tell you something. Amen. The devil began to torment me about some things that I had done. Amen. And I had, I had, amen, made those things right. And I had got them under the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not, I'm not saying that Sister Police has done anything. I'm not saying that. I, I just want you to listen to what I'm telling you tonight. The devil kept coming back at me and tormenting me with those things. Amen. That I had done. And I know that I had asked God to forgive me of those things. <laughs> and I, you know, when you say enough's enough, <laughs> I've had enough to miss God. Amen. I took a piece of paper and I took a pencil and I wrote those things down. Brother Seymour, I wrote them down. Each and every one of them. And down at the bottom, I said, these things are under the blood. God has forgiven me of those things. And I said, devil, enough is enough. I folded that piece of paper up and I went back and got me, a, I know this sounds crazy. I, I know it does. But I went back and got me a, a post hole deer. And I dug me a big old hole as deep as I could dig it. 
And I put that piece of paper down on the bottom of that. And I took a rock and put on top of it. And I covered it back up with dirt. And I said, there it is, devil. And you know what? Hey man, he hasn't bothered me. Oh, he tries. And he'd like to bring them back up. But I said, you know what? I buried those things. Hey Amen. And, and Jesus has buried them. Hey Amen. In the blood. Hallelujah. And he has cast them in a sea of forgetfulness never to be remembered no more. God don't ever remember them. But the devil would like to bring it back to our mind. But I'm here to tell you tonight. Hey Amen. There's victory. Hey Amen. In Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. We're going to pray. Sister Felicia, I'm going to tell you. You love your daddy, remember the good times, and forget about the bad times. Hallelujah. I'm a to you tonight. Amen. In the, in the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray a covering over this mind, over our sister tonight. Amen. That God, amen, would strengthen her and deliver her. Amen. To these things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I pray victory. Lord, in our sister's mind tonight. Lord, in her heart. God, I know that you're able, Lord, to lift her up above these things, Lord. God, place her in the hollow of your hand, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen, Lord. Amen. I know that in you there is victory tonight. Devil, you're a liar. Amen. You've tormented our sister's mind with these things. Oh, I come against you in the name of Jesus tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Amen. He likes to torment our minds. Amen. But Jesus said, I have come to give life and give it more abundantly. Hallelujah. And I feel that abundant life flowing here tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah.
still thankful for our healing in this arm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I haven't quit believing. It's amazing what God can speak to you when you're in the shower. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to. Amen. Amen. Give one to Give one to There's no way to swallow it. Hallelujah. Did I miss anybody? Is everybody got a quarter? Kevin was going to preach my message tonight. Uh, but I like, the way, I like the way the Lord works. And, uh, you have your Bibles and you'd like to turn with me. Uh, I know it's already getting kind of late, but I'll try not to be real long tonight. Go with me to Romans chapter 12. And I'm going to start in verse uh, 1. Read down through verse 3. And uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's just reasonable. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, accordingly as God hath dealt to every man the measure of of faith. Lord, we're thankful tonight for your uh, presence that we have filled in this service tonight, Lord. Uh, great spirit of worship, uh, just a great uh, move of the Holy Ghost tonight, Lord. I'm so thankful for that. I ask, Lord, for the next few moments, Lord, that you would uh, help me, anoint me, Lord, uh, that I might be able, Lord, to be a blessing unto us tonight. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen, and you may be seated. A measure of faith. There are several faiths in the Bible that the Bible speaks about or talks about. Uh, there's little faith. There's weak faith. There's dead faith. There's increasing faith. There's strong faith. There's great faith. And we can go on. There's, there's several different types of faith that's mentioned 
uh, in the Bible. And as we as we look at, at that, the measure of faith, the Bible also speaks about the faith as, as a grain of mustard seed. And uh, uh, they, they, they're a pretty small seed. But the faith that I, I or the, the mustard seed, or the mustard tree that he's speaking about, is, is not like our mustard that we eat. But it's, it's a tree that, that the fowls of the air grows, that the fowls of the air, amen, can, can come and uh, land and light in it. And, and, uh, and uh, oh, it, it's, it's, it turns into something big from just a little mustard seed, just a little seed. Very uh, familiar chapter. We, we all like Hebrews chapter 11. Whenever someone says Hebrews chapter 11, we all know that it, that's the faith chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 1 it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And while I, while I minister here just for a few moments of time, as you hold that quarter tonight, I want you to think about something that you have asked God for. A prayer. A request. Maybe something that seems impossible. But I'm here to tell you tonight, with God, all things are possible. <laughs> Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost here, Brother Jeremy. Mm. I said, with God, all things right. are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith here is having absolute trust in God. I've come to the conclusion, Brother Seymour, and, and, and I've wrestled with things in my past life, Brother Jeremy, that, that I wondered, God, are you really... Are you really there? Come on. I, I've asked God about uh, the, you know, request doing. Lord, I need you to do this. Lord, I need healing. Lord, my brother needs healing. My sister needs healing. Seems like we pray, we believe, and maybe, maybe a little victory, maybe get a little victory. Come on. But let me tell you something. It's very easy, if we ain't careful, to forget about the things that God has done for us in the past. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because that's the devil's business. He wants us to forget about what God's done. Amen. He wants to take our faith, our, our belief. Amen. He wants to destroy it. Yeah. Amen. But faith is having absolutely trust in God. I thought of brother brother Kevin. He began to uh, mention about Peter walking on the water. Amen. The Lord bidding to come. And man, I mean, you know, whew, you talk about having great faith. He had great faith. Amen. He stepped out, and began to walk, brother Seymour. Amen. Until he began to look around him. Amen. And realized, mm, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on something that's not solid here. Uh -huh. And he began to go down. But I'm here to tell you, amen, whenever he began to look back up to Jesus and begin to cry out, amen, Jesus reached out to him, Brother Seymour, amen, just in time. Hallelujah. Don't give up, amen, on your prayers. Amen, don't give up, amen, because I'm here to tell you, amen, if you do, amen, the answer might have been right there, amen, waiting for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in God. Is the foundation of our, our, of our relationship with Him. Amen. 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 In verse uh, eight or verse six, it says, "Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, Amen. and that He is a, a, a rewarder That's of right. them that diligently seek Him." Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I'm believing for a complete, amen, miracle, amen, in this young lady's arm. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because my trust, hallelujah, amen, God didn't lay
lay that on your heart for nothing, Brother Jeremy, that night. Amen. But I believe, amen, that God is going to do a work. Hallelujah. A complete work. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But it is our foundation of our relationship with Him. Amen. And if we must be close to Him, we must have faith in Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it's hard to believe sometimes. Amen. That's why we need each other. That's why we need our brothers and our sisters. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you're going through something, amen. And I know I've probably said this here before, but amen. Whenever your companion is laying at death's door, and the doctor says, amen, you need to call your family in because she, she may not even make it through the night. Amen. You know what? Amen. If you ain't careful, your faith. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. Because all you can think about is your companions fixing to die. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what? I'm thankful. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. That God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. He quickened me. Amen. To call the pastor. Amen. Our pastor at the time, Brother N.A. Haynes. And I said, Brother Haynes, I mean, and they haven't given us a good report. And he's told me to call the family in. And she might not even make it through the night. And he said, Brother Johnny, he said, we're going to, a, I, I can't remember if it's a youth, youth rally or a fellowship meeting. Amen. But he said, we're going and, and we're going to have special prayer for Sister Brenda tonight. And I, he said, just, just believe with us. Hallelujah. And I, I said, okay, Pastor. I said, we'll do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? She wasn't dead by in the morning. Amen. Amen. God began to turn things around. Hallelujah. Amen. That's been almost 40 years ago. Or 35, 40, 40 years ago. Yeah. Amen. She's still with me tonight. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. Amen. If God does it one time, amen. He's the same yesterday, today, forever. Amen. He changes not. Amen. He can still do it today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I've got a lot of scriptures tonight. But anyway. Hallelujah. Diligently. And I'm going to tell you something tonight. I don't, I don't see him diligently like I should. I'm just going to be honest with you. How many of the rest of us do we see diligently like we should? Huh? Amen. I'm going to be the first to raise my hand tonight. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. If we're drawn out of him, amen, he's going to draw him out of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith as de defined is referred to as a substance. A substance is something that can be seen. Yeah. Amen. It's 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 you can you can you can reach out and grab a hold of it. Amen. It, it can be it can be seen. It is not a feeling, nor is it an imagination. Huh? Amen. It is converting our expectations to reality. Hallelujah. Amen. And now this is this is what I know this is kind of funny, but this is what, amen. The Lord, as I, I was praying, getting ready for church, and I said, It's amazing what God can give you when you're in the shower, Brother Seymour. Amen. But he 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 gave me this this little cup. And he said, get a coin, amen, and give it to each and every one. Now, I've asked you, I know there's needs, prayers, amen. Now, this is this is faith right here, amen. Have you petitioned him? All right, hallelujah. Have you petitioned him? Amen. You know what, Brother Seymour? Amen, if we can carry on the spirit, amen, that we have felt in this assembly tonight, there's no telling what God, amen, can do here. I know, I know there, I know it's been fought against, amen, ever since this church, amen, has, has been started, amen, up on, on the, on the, on the, in, in town up there, amen. It seemed like it's just, you get a few, and then it seemed like you lose them, but I'm here to tell you, amen, mm -hmm, by faith, brother, 
by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to see some things happen. Amen. We're going to see some things happen. Hallelujah. I don't know where they're going to come from. I know Brother Vic's got a brother, amen, that needs the Holy Ghost. Amen. There may be other needs. you got a son that needs the Holy Ghost. I know you have other needs. Amen. Brother Don's got family. Amen. Loved ones, children, grandchildren. Amen. Sister Mary Love. Amen. you you got a daughter. Amen. That needs to be back in church, Sister Christina. Amen. You may have others. I'm just mentioning these because these are some things, you know, that I know. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This cup is representing faith. Amen. And then you all are putting your, your needs in there. Come on, Brother Andrew. Amen. Your prayers. Hallelujah. This young lady needs healing on this arm. Amen. Sister Guthrie has a need in her family. Amen. You know what? You know what's in this cup? Amen. There's substance in this cup. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's substance in this cup. Hey, I'm here to tell you. Amen. God knows. Amen. Our needs. Amen. He sees our faith. And I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. Let's be encouraged. Amen. Tonight. Amen. With faith that God. Amen. Can do these things. Hallelujah. It is converting our expectations, amen, to reality. Hallelujah. Amen. As Christians, faith is our most vital weapon. Amen. We've got to keep the faith. Amen. He's given all of us a measure of faith. Amen. We've got to press on. We've got to fight on. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is our, uh, our uh, as Christians, faith is our most vital weapon. To enjoy a triumphant life in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Amen. For he that comes to God, amen, must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently, amen, seek Him. Hallelujah. In closing, amen, tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. A substance. <laughs> Amen. Are you holding on to them? Are you holding on to it tonight? Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sister Felicia. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Hallelujah. It may be something happened. I'm not I'm not saying this is gloom and doom. I'm, something something is gonna get your mama's attention. Don't don't be don't be tore up about it. Don't be discouraged. But he's gonna get her attention. Amen. Hallelujah. That substance. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost here tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost here tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, I love you tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. You say, Brother Guthrie, are you praying something bad? No, I'm not praying. But I am praying whatever God it takes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this, this, is, this is a sister that I have pastored. Amen. And as long as she can be faithful, she was faithful to us there. Amen. At Regan. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know what? Amen. I, 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 it, it tears my heart out. And I, I, I don't know if it was Sister Felicia or Sister Danielle. I told her, I said, you tell your mama. I said, that, that breaks my heart. Amen. Amen. Whenever I heard, amen, that she had turned her back and walked away from church. Amen. But you know what? I still pray for her. Hallelujah. And I'm praying all of our little ones. I've got a son. Lord, whatever it takes. Amen. Get their attention. Mm, someone say, oh, you're not praying that way. Mm, hey, well, what's their soul worth? Amen. What's her soul worth? Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. God, you do a work. However, amen. You know, uh, I, I prayed. Uh, Junior, when he was uh, young, and uh, uh, he began to he began to kind of get out on his own. He began to do things. And, man, it, it was tearing me up. Because uh, I had never dealt with nothing like that before. And uh, I, I said, I went down in the uh, prayer room there in Arm Hill. And, man, I was just, he just uh, seemed like was going crazy. And, and I said, Lord, I said, I'm, I, I just, I couldn't sleep. I just, I couldn't eat. And I, just, I just, you know. I wrestled with this, and and, uh, and so I, I finally, you know, let, let me put this in. You know what? We try to handle a lot of things on our own. <laughs> Come on now. We try to fix a lot of things on our own, and, and it, it's just our nature. We, we want we want to help. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, sometimes, amen, we do all we can do, Brother Seymour, and it's just out of our hands. I went down to the prayer room, and I said, Lord, I've had all this that I can handle. I, I said, I can't sleep. I said, I'm worried to death. And, and, and you know, and, and because my desire was for him to be in church. My desire was for him to live for God. Huh? Amen. But you know what? He was he was wanting to sow the wild oats, so to speak. And anyway, Brother Seymour, I went down in the prayer room and I said, God, amen. I'm here. I'm bringing this need before you. And I'm putting him in your hands tonight. I'm asking you to spare his life. Spare his life. Do not let the enemy take his life. Did you spare his life until he can get his senses together? Amen. And, 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 and realize that he needs to put you, amen, in charge of his heart and life. Amen. Amen. You know what? I got up from there. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just like I prayed for peace for Sister Felicia tonight. I got up from there. I left it there. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, you know, the Lord has, uh, he's, he's, he's went to church and he, he's, uh, he has repented and, and, uh, and went to church for a while and the devil come in and knocked his feet out from underneath him. Amen. But I, I, and he quit, but I'm here to tell you. Amen. That prayer has still got him covered. I mean, I believe God has still got his hand, amen, of safety or protection around him until he can come, amen, and, mm -hmm, hallelujah, come to know him. Hallelujah. Amen. But, but let me, let me, uh, let me share this with you in closing. In, in Matthew chapter 8. I'm telling you something. Faith. You've got a substance. Amen. That you can hold on to. Amen. I see it. I see it, Brother Seymour. Amen. I see him in church with his hands raised up. Amen. I see Sister Tammy back in church with her hands raised up. Amen. Singing again. Hallelujah. I see, amen, these, hallelujah, worshiping God and praising God. Hallelujah. Amen. I see it. Amen. How do I see it? By faith. My trust is still in God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there, uh, verse 5, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of palsy, grievous, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come, that thou should shouldest come under my roof, but but speak the word only. <laughs> yeah. Lord, I, I'm not I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy for you to come into my house. But I believe that all you have to do is speak the word. <laughs> Just speak the word. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, that, and my servant shall be healed. Now, can you imagine? This centurion, amen, was seeing his servant healed. Knowing 
that he was in the point of death. Uh -huh. <laughs> now what kind of faith is that? Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I want to impart unto us tonight. Church, let's keep the great faith. Hallelujah. Let's keep the great faith. These things that we've been praying for, hey, keep the great faith. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, for I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another cometh, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth this. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and, and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Amen. You know what? He came unto his own, but his own received him not. It's amazing. Oh, they know about Abraham. They know about us. They know about all these, these great men of faith, but yet they don't believe in Jesus. And you know what he said? They're going to be cast out into outer darkness. Amen. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Amen, go thy way, and, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. Amen. I'm here to tell you, Amen. You got substance, Amen, tonight in God. Hallelujah. Amen. And as Jesus said unto the centurion, I'm telling you tonight, let's go our way. <laughs> Hallelujah. And as we have believed, amen, so be it done, amen, unto us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How many, amen, believes with me tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm expecting miracles. Amen. I'm expecting, amen, this church to be filled. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The devil is alive. Amen. He would like to try to keep us, amen, down and, and, and try to destroy us. Amen. But the Bible says, tells me, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad, Brother Jeremy, amen, that I've got the Holy Ghost on the inside of me. Hallelujah tonight. And I'm glad for the great faith, amen, that God has given us. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands, amen, and let's give him some praise tonight. substance, something you can grab a hold of. Hallelujah. For things hoped for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank I appreciate you, Lord. each and every one of us to be here tonight. Thank I appreciate you, Lord. what God's done. Hallelujah. I believe it's just Felicia, you can just joy in all of this. Jesus. Amen. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Jesus does not want us to be depressed or down in the dumps over there.